Samantha Ray's knuckles whitened on the steering wheel as the fog-shrouded road twisted before her, leading her ever closer to the looming silhouette of Ravenhurst Manor. The mansion rose from the mist like a specter, its gothic spires and gabled windows seeming to watch her approach with a dark, knowing gaze. A shiver traced down her spine that had nothing to do with the chill seeping through the thin material of her black dress. It was the same dress she had worn to her grandmother's funeral just days before. The grandmother she hadn't seen since she was a child. The grandmother whose secrets had cast a long shadow over Samantha's life. Secrets that had torn their family apart, leaving Samantha haunted by half-remembered whispers and a gnawing emptiness where a sister should have been. A twin, her other half, ripped away when they were barely more than babes. Samantha's hands began to shake and she tightened her grip, fighting for control as she guided her vintage Aston Martin up the curving gravel drive. Dead leaves crunched beneath the tires, the only sound in the preternatural stillness. Even the birds were silent, as if sensing the manor's aura of dread. She hadn't wanted to come back. Had spent years running from the poisonous tendrils of her family's legacy. But when the lawyer had called, his voice grave as he informed her of her inheritance, Ravenhurst and all its dark history, passed down like a curse. She knew she couldn't outrun her fate any longer. The car rolled to a stop before the manor's massive oak doors, and for a long moment, Samantha simply sat, staring up at the ivy-choked facade. The diamond ring on her left hand caught the wan light, and her heart clenched. Liam. Dot. N. The man she was to marry in less than a month. If she could untangle the choking vines of her past in time, stealing herself, Samantha stepped out onto the gravel, the damp air instantly enveloping her like a shroud. Mist curled around the mossy gravestones dotting the overgrown lawn, and she could almost feel the weight of generations pressing down, watching, waiting. The door swung open with an echoing groan as she approached, and Samantha's breath caught in her throat. A figure stepped out of the shadows of the entryway, tall and broad-shouldered, with raven hair and piercing gray eyes that seemed to see straight into her battered soul. Miss Ray, I presume? His voice was a warm rasp, sending an unbidden shiver through her. Declan Byrne died. The caretaker. He held out a hand, rough and work-worn. Samantha hesitated only a beat before taking it, his calloused skin sparking against her own like flint to tinder. She met his gaze, and something flickered there. A darkness, an intimate knowledge of pain that resonated deep within her. A pleasure, Mr. Byrne, she managed, voice scarcely above a whisper. Though I wish it were under better circumstances. His eyes held hers, searching, probing, seeing too much. My condolences for your loss. Lady Ravenhurst was a singular woman. There was something in his tone, a shadow of unspoken history, that set Samantha's nerves on edge even as it drew her in. Drew her to him, this dark stranger, like a moth to a flame. Like recognizing like. She swallowed hard and pulled her hand from his, trying to ignore the way her skin still tingled at the loss of contact. Yes. Well, well. She glanced up at the manor's glowering facade. I suppose I should see what she's left me. Besides a lifetime of questions. Declan's eyes glinted. Indeed. Ravenhurst keeps its secrets close. His gaze cut back to her, knowing and intent. But something tells me you're no stranger to secrets. Or to darkness. Samantha's heart stuttered behind her ribs. God, if he only knew the half of it. The yawning chasm in her chest where a twin should be. The eerie half-memories of a little girl's laughter echoing through the drafty halls. The certainty, deep in her bones, that some evil had torn them asunder. An evil rooted in this very house. Shall we? Declan stepped back, gesturing for her to precede him into the waiting shadows of the foyer. And though every instinct screamed for her to run, to flee this haunted place and its ghosts, Samantha knew there was no escape. Not anymore. Her fate, her family's dark legacy, had finally caught up with her. Taking a deep breath of the crypt-like air, she crossed the threshold into Ravenhurst Manor. 
into her birthright, into the secrets crouched in the darkness, waiting to devour her whole. The ancient floorboards creaked under Samantha's feet as she followed Declan deeper into the bowels of Ravenhurst Manor, the air growing heavy and oppressive with each step. Cobwebs brushed her face like ghostly fingers, and she couldn't suppress a shudder, feeling the weight of centuries pressing down. Declan glanced back, his gray eyes glinting in the gloom. You feel it, don't you? The house knows you've come home. Now a nine. The word lodged in Samantha's throat like a shard of glass. This wasn't home. It was a mausoleum, a crypt of secrets and lies. Secrets that had shattered her family, that had stolen her other half. Tell me about my sister, she blurted, the words tearing free before she could stop them. The one my grandmother gave away. Declan stilled, his broad shoulders tensing under his black sweater. When he turned to face her, his expression was inscrutable but Samantha could read the pain in the taut lines of his body. The same pain that had carved itself into her very bones. Her name was Scarlet, he said quietly, voice rough with emotion. She was extraordinary, like flame and shadow incarnate. Samantha's heart clenched, tears burning the backs of her eyes. Scarlet, a name for the void that had always gaped within her, the missing piece of her soul. What happened to her? Declan's jaw tightened, a muscle jumping in his cheek. I don't know. She disappeared when you were just babes, never to be seen again. It nearly destroyed your mother. Samantha squeezed her eyes shut against the onslaught of grief, of rage. How could they have done it? How could they have ripped them apart, sentenced them to a lifetime of incompleteness? I need to find her, she whispered, voice cracking. I need to know why. Samantha. Declan's hand landed on her shoulder, warm and heavy, and she couldn't help but lean into the touch, starved for the comfort of human connection in this house of shadows. Some secrets are better left buried. Your grandmother took Scarlet's whereabouts to her grave for a reason. Samantha's eyes snapped open, and she jerked back, fixing him with a searing glare. You know something? You know why she did it? His hand fell away and he looked down, shoulders slumping as if under a terrible weight. There are things about Ravenhurst. Dark things. Things that could rip your sanity to shreds. He met her gaze again, and the raw anguish there stole her breath. I couldn't bear to see that happen to you. Samantha's heart lurched, some primal part of her responding to the naked emotion in his voice, the unspoken connection arcing between them like electricity. But she couldn't afford to be swayed, not now, with the truth so close she could taste it. I'm not afraid, she bit out, squaring her shoulders. I've spent my whole life haunted by what I don't know. It's time for the ghosts of Ravenhurst to give up their secrets. As if in response, the house itself seemed to shudder around them, the walls groaning like a thing alive. The air chilled, Samantha's breath misting before her and the hairs on the back of her neck stood on end, some preternatural awareness prickling over her skin. Declan's eyes widened, fear and awe mingling in their stormy depths. It's her, he breathed. Scarlet. I know. She's here. A gust of icy wind howled down the corridor, extinguishing the flickering gas lamps and plunging them into darkness. In the sudden, suffocating blackness, Samantha heard the one sound that could cleave her soul in two. A little girl's laughter, high and mocking, echoing from the shadows. And beneath it, a sibilant whisper, slithering into her mind like a serpent. Welcome home, sister mine. We have so much to catch up on. Samantha screamed. Samantha's scream echoed through the cavernous halls of Ravenhurst Manor, mingling with the mocking laughter that seemed to come from everywhere, and nowhere at once. The darkness pressed down like a living thing, cold and hungry, and she could feel the ghostly whispers slithering over her skin, seeping into her very soul. Samantha. Declan's voice cut through the maelstrom, his hand finding hers in the blackness and gripping tight. Don't listen to it. Whatever you're hearing, it's not real. But it was real. The voice, the laughter, the aching void in Samantha's heart where her sister should be. 
It was all terribly, viscerally real. Tears streamed down her face, hot against her chilled skin, as she clung to Declan's hand like a lifeline. I have to face her, she choked out, voice raw and shaking. I have to know the truth. I can't let you do this alone. Declan's other hand cupped her cheek, his touch searing in the unnatural cold. I lost, Scarlet. I won't lose you, too. Something in his words, in the broken desperation of his tone, pierced through the fog of fear and grief, and Samantha knew, with a sudden, blinding clarity, that whatever connected her to this man, this dark, wounded stranger, was as real and unbreakable as the bond that had tethered her to her lost twin. Reaching up, she covered his hand with her own, leaning into his touch like a flower straining for the sun. Together, then, she whispered. As if in answer, a searing gust of wind howled down the corridor, and the gas lamps flared back to life, casting twisted shadows on the peeling wallpaper. And there, at the end of the hall, a door stood open, yawning like the mouth of a tomb. A door that Samantha knew in her bones had been locked tight only moments before. Stealing herself, she stepped forward, Declan's hand clasped firmly in hers. The laughter swelled, high and wild, as they approached the threshold, the temperature plummeting with each step until their breath misted before them in pale plumes. The room beyond was shrouded in shadows, but Samantha could make out the hulking shapes of furniture draped in dusty sheets, the dull gleam of a grimy mirror in the corner. And there, in the center of the floor, a dark stain marred the wood, rust brown and long since soaked into the grain. Blood dud. Decades old, but blood all the same. Samantha's gorge rose, and she squeezed her eyes shut, fighting the sudden visceral certainty that this was where it had happened, where her family's dark legacy had torn her life asunder, where Scarlet had been ripped from her arms and cast into the void. Murderer. The word slithered through the room like a curse, oozing from the shadows. Defiler. Declan's grip tightened on Samantha's hand, anchoring her. Show yourself he shouted into the darkness. We've come too far for games. A hush fell, thick and suffocating, broken only by the frantic hammer of Samantha's heart. Then slowly, a figure began to coalesce from the gloom, pale and ethereal. A woman, her once beautiful face twisted in grief and rage, spectral tears glistening on her translucent cheeks. Samantha's breath caught. She knew that face had seen it staring back at her from faded photographs in gilded frames. Mother, she breathed. The ghost's eyes, so like Samantha's own, flashed with anguish. My girls, she keened, her voice a ragged wisp. My precious babes, torn apart by the evil that lurks in this wretched house. Samantha shook her head, throat tight with unshed tears. I don't understand. What evil? Why did you send Scarlet away? her mother's face contorted, a mask of anguish and guilt. To save her, she whispered, from him, and, uh, him. The word dripped with venom, with a loathing so palpable, it stole the breath from Samantha's lungs. Beside her, Declan stiffened, a low growl rumbling in his chest. Who? Samantha demanded, though some deep, primal part of her already knew the answer. Had known, perhaps, all along. The temperature plummeted, frost creeping up the walls, cracking the mirror's surface. Her mother's specter flickered like a guttering candle. Your father, she spat. A monster in human skin. He would have corrupted you both, broken you as he did me. Ghostly tears spilled over, dissolving into mist. I had to send her away. To protect her. To protect you both from his vile appetites. Byla scorched Samantha's throat, horror and revulsion churning in her gut. Her father. The man whose face she couldn't even remember, who had been nothing more than a shadow, an absence, all her life. A monster. What did he do? She choked out, though she feared she already knew. Her mother's eyes met hers, hollow with an old, festering agony unspeakable things. The blackest of magics. 
blood rituals and vile perversions, all to slake his twisted hungers. A shudder racked her translucent form. When I discovered I was carrying twins, I knew I had to hide one from his grasp. I could not let him taint you both. Samantha swayed on her feet, bile burning her throat. Declan's arms slipped around her waist, holding her up, keeping her tethered as her world tilted on its axis. Where? Where is he now? She asked hoarsely. Dead, her mother bit out. By his own hand, when he realized I had spirited Scarlet away. But a part of him lingers still, a malevolent shade, seeking to finish what he started. Her gaze bored into Samantha's, urgency crackling in her spectral eyes. You must stop him, Samantha. Put an end to his evil once and for all. Only then will Scarlet be truly free. Samantha's heart clenched, a fierce, protective love surging through her veins. Her sister? Her twin? She would move heaven and earth to save her, to bring her home. But even as the thought formed, a cruel laugh echoed through the room, raking over her nerves like nails on a chalkboard. The shadows in the corners deepened, writhed, coalescing into a shape that made Samantha's blood run cold. A man, tall and gaunt, with eyes like black pits, and a smile like a razor's edge. Her father, the monster. Ah, daughter mine, he purred, voice dripping with malevolent glee. How good of you to come home at last. We have so much catching up to do. Samantha stumbled back, bile scorching her throat, but Declan stood firm, pushing her behind him. You can't have her, he snarled, eyes flashing silver. Your evil dies here, tonight. The specter threw his head back and laughed, the sound scraping over Samantha's raw nerves. Bold words, boy. But you have no power here. His obsidian gaze slid to Samantha, oily, with anticipation. Only blood can break the ties that bind. Only the sacrifice of the willing. Cold horror sluiced through Samantha's veins as understanding crashed over her. A blood ritual. The key to banishing her father's malevolent shade and freeing Scarlet. Declan gripped her shoulders, his eyes wild with desperation. No, Samantha. I can't let you do this. But Samantha was already reaching for the silver letter opener, lying on the dusty escritoire, her mother's ghostly sobs echoing in her ears. I have to, she whispered, tears blurring her vision. For Scarlet. For both of us. With shaking hands, she pressed the point to her palm, crimson welling in its wake. Her father's specter hissed, eyes flaring with hunger as the ruby droplet splattered to the floor. Yes, yes, he seethed, shadow form bristling. Blood of my blood, flesh of my flesh. Samantha's stomach roiled, but she forced herself to meet his feverish gaze, her own hardening with resolve. I revoke your claim, she gritted out, each word tearing at her throat. I break the ties that bind. By blood and bone and ash I cast you out, her father shrieked, a sound of purest fury, as the shadows began to churn, to fray at the edges. Spectral winds howled through the room, whipping Samantha's hair, tearing at her clothes, but she stood firm, fist clenched around the bloodied letter opener. Declan's arms wrapped around her, his strength flowing into her, fortifying her. The air crackled with eldritch energy, ozone searing Samantha's nostrils. The floorboards splintered, the mirror shattered, and still she held fast, pouring every ounce of love, of grief, of iron spine determination into the banishing. For Scarlet. For the life they should have had. The life she would not rest until they could claim again. And then, as suddenly as it had begun, the maelstrom died the unholy winds stilling to a held breath. In the ringing silence, Samantha watched her father's specter flicker, falter, and then, with a final rattling hiss, dissolve into mist. It was done. The monster was vanquished. The curse broken. Samantha sagged in Declan's arms, exhaustion and relief crashing over her in equal measure. Tears streamed down her face, silent sobs shaking her shoulders. Shh. Declan murmured, cradling her close. It's over.
You're free. Both of you. Samantha lifted her head, blinking away the tears, and froze. There, in the corner where the mirror had shattered, a figure stirred. A figure with hair like living flame and eyes like glowing emeralds. A figure achingly, impossibly familiar. Scarlet, she breathed. Her twin smiled, radiant even through her own tears, and held out a hand. Hello, sister mine. And as Samantha stumbled into her arms, their hearts beating as one for the first time in twenty-six years, she knew that no darkness, no twisted legacy, could ever part them again. Raven, her secrets had been laid to rest, its demons exorcised. And in their place, love had bloomed, fierce and true. A love worth fighting for. Worth dying for. The love of sisters, bound by blood and soul, and the unbreakable threads of fate.